Welcome to what I think is going to be the final episode of Yandere Week. This game has kind of consumed my life for the last uh, few days because I want to get the true ending. Today is going to be that day. In order to get the secret special sauce <laughs> ending, you have to eliminate every- sorry. Excuse me, I won't interrupt you. You have to eliminate every single rival in the specific way that the game hints at letting you do that. I did not do that. Half of the time, I just use a lot of explosions. I was like Terry Crews out here in an Old Spice commercial, just explosions everywhere. <laughs> no, Ryoba's gonna be a good girl. And by good, I mean bad. The rivals and the people in the court won't be, will be none the wiser. We are not getting an F score today. And if I do, I'm gonna throw my computer outside, starting now. All right, first thing we're gonna do is join the Garnet Club. Why? Because we can go in here, bam. That's not sus. I got the rat poison now. Guess where that's going? Bento box. Because for the first rival, we need to sabotage her, which I did not do. I right, was gonna put a little bit of extra Taco Bell up in this bento. I can leave a romantic note. Good to know. <laughs> oh, who put Taco Bell in my bento box? Uh oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, you darn right he ignored a giggle. He's going straight to the bathroom. Hey, Senpai, did you like the bento? Um, well, what's wrong? Hey, that bento was, uh, that was that a prank or something? Yeah, she saw it on TikTok. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, it made me throw up, like, immediately. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know th uh, how this happened. Someone used to talk about, man. As long as you didn't do it on purpose, it's no big deal. Well, I'm gonna go home now. And thus, we planted the seed for Senpai to hate her. Yeah, so this is the, the uh, official thing that we were supposed to do. I did not do that. Since I'm here, I thought I would show you guys this little cutscene. What happens when you go to the Mioin Salon? Let me tell you, I'd be terrified to get a haircut here. Hairstyles? Sure. Oh. I see. You and I, we're alike. We have the same hobby, the same talents. It's nice to meet a kindred spirit. We should swap tips. I've been at this for a while. I'm sure my advice could be of use to you. Is she like our aunt or something? I wish she gave us more specific information about rivals, but it's cool. I told you guys I found that last episode, but yeah, thought I'd show it. All right, so on Tuesday, all we have to do is steal the borrowed book. That's it. Very easy. I like it. Um, Senpai, I have bad news. So yeah, you do. I'm not sure how it happened, but somehow I lost the book. That was my family Bible! Dang it. I searched everywhere, but I wasn't able to find it. It's just gone now? I'm so sorry. I'll buy a new one, I swear. There is not another copy in the world! You don't have to bother doing that. Yeah, ditch her. It was special to me because it was a gift from my sister. There's no point in replacing it. It wouldn't be the same book. So, oh, he's got a sister. Interesting. I'm just going to go now. Ooh, you in the doghouse tonight. All right, two more times. So she has something that she wants to show Senpai, giving her a little a little gift. It was like, a, like some sort of Game Boy, or I don't know what it was. But that's not what he's going to be getting. Hey, Senpai, are you ready for your surprise? Oh, yes, he is. Here he goes. I'm opening the box now, and... Oh, wow. I really didn't expect to see something like that. Yeah, I, I, I put something special in there, all right. What's wrong, senpai? He's gonna get a message. Uh, I have to be honest with you. I'm not really interested in this sort of thing. I put some protection in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you just had to put sedative in her bento. She's gonna go to sleep and, you know, her senpai won't meet. Which is, which sounds fine by me. Yo, man, what are you cleaning? He was getting all up in her freaking her business. He keeps cleaning next to her feet, weirdo. Yes, shh, sleep, sleep. He finally stopped waiting. He's like, well, screw this. All right, one more. Jeez, this is like one of the longest ones. I'd rather just push a bookcase on one of them. The last thing we need to do now is sabotage the notes. This game really wants me to leave a romantic note. Hey, Senpai, did you, <laughs> did my notes help you? Oh, well, I'll just be honest. I'm sorry, but your notes didn't help at all. What did we do to the notes? Why not? What was wrong with my notes? They just had a happy face. Nothing that you wrote down uh, was correct. Everything was wrong. Honestly, I thought it was a prank or something. When are you gonna understand, Senpai? She's not good for you. No, I wouldn't pull a prank like that on you. She's playing you. I aced the test, so I don't think there was anything wrong with my note. Maybe I made mistakes while I was copying my notes because I was in a hurry. Ooh, she admits it. I guess I'll just have to do a better job of taking care of my notes next time. Aww. Oh, oh, so if I got a note, what is it? He's like, what is this trash? Look, you can tell how angry he is just by his running. 
That's the angry run. He's running up here so he can slap her in the face. <laughs> you think you're gonna be able to do anything? Are you, you're so stupid. You Natsuki wannabe. Your rival confesses her feelings to Senpai. Senpai rejects your rival's confession. Yes! Yeah, serves you right. It's weird not killing her though. <laughs> <laughs> so evil. Ryoba's rival is no longer a threat. Ryoba considers confessing her love to Senpai, but she can't build the courage. All right. That took a long time. That's probably one of the most time-consuming elimination methods. That's, explosions are just way easier. What can I say? Wait. You guys, you guys smell something? Oh, that's just my rival roasted chicken fingers. Mmm, tasty. Conceal. <laughs> it's still burning. This can't be safe. There we go. Cool down a little bit. I love this rival. Very easy. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, literally. I just had to put her back in the oven. <laughs> okay, so for this to work, we have to have the mop, the garbage bags, which are in my bag. We gotta make everyone go away. So I, I befriended every single one of them. Even if you were friends with someone, just say that. It would be really uh, rude, actually. And obviously, have her physical stats so you can push the bookcase, which we've already done. So we good. Okay. Oh, no. I gotta restart that. That sucks! What is she gonna do now? Oh, she's gonna... She's like, oh, I guess I just want to check out that book. What? <laughs> She's trying. All right. I'm not messing up this time. Okay. Okay, we got to bag her up. Bag her up. Don't step in the blood. Hurry up. Conceal. Conceal, you piece of crap. Okay, I think we did it. I think we did it. Make sure everything is nice. Nice and clean. All right, just so got to take this bad boy to the bathroom. Clean it. Dump that water. And then now it's operation. Get the bag to the freaking incinerator. Okay. I did it. And that's that. Okay. So for this one, we need the lethal poison, which I literally just picked up. And we gotta go take a <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, nothing. No, I've been grinding my freaking everything in this game. She's gonna come make her a little lunch. I think she makes it at lunchtime. Wait, why am I able to poison his food? What the heck? <laughs> you can poison anyone's food? Oh no, she makes her bento in the morning. Okay. It's fine. We have plenty of time to poison it. Don't worry. All right. She's finally making her lunch. Hopefully this actually works. Hey, wait. What the heck? Why is her bento floating? And more importantly, why can't I poison it? Yo, I have the poison. Oh no, apparently I didn't. Okay, got, okay. Hopefully there's still time. How does her bento keep moving? <laughs> That's a haunted bento right there. What the heck? We just gotta make these guys go away. She's like, hey, where's everyone going? La 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 la. Enjoy your last meal. Oh wow, that was on the first bite too, man. That's some lethal, lethal poison. That's not off brand. Die faster, please. Hurry, I'm trying to bag this up. Flawless. Flawless. Okay. Took me a little longer than I thought it would, but hey, it all worked out for the best. Whee! Boop. <laughs> you swim with the fishes now. I love how no one saw that, but she falls so fast. <laughs> as far as I know, that's the only body that is pretty much okay to not uh, conceal. Because there's no way else to do it. This has got to be my favorite elimination. Electrifying. <laughs> It's just so, it's comedy gold, man. <laughs> she talks about lightning and how, <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh crap, no, that's suspicious, that was suspicious. No, all right, that, I'm sure that's not gonna affect me, right? Dude, I swear. I was dancing, I was vibing, man. You know what's even funnier is I'm gonna ask her bandmates to leave and they're gonna actually do it. Did you imagine you're playing for people and you, your band just leaves? Go away, stop playing. She's a solo act now. She doesn't need you guys. Also, this is a very conceited song. Everyone dreams of I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna die. I mean, what? She's like, where'd everyone go? She's just so in the moment. She doesn't care if everyone leaves. Please leave, guys. Go away. <laughs> Let me stop to eat. <laughs> she got crumbs on her as she's singing. <laughs> She's honestly a good singer. <laughs> she, she actually was kind of singing a little while. Uh, dude, it's so... This is my favorite elimination, I gotta say. It's just so funny. I gotta say, I like Ryoba's expressions in here. You can tell... Oh! Hey, dude, go away. Uh, distract. 
Okay, not a problem. Now, goody two shoes over here. We just have to sabotage her. That's pretty easy. I just keep putting stuff in her purse. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> when I said purse, I mean bag. The one thing that we have to do is buy the fake ID from the Yakuza. Even though you can steal one at school, for some reason it doesn't work. I don't know why. So we need that to buy, you know, the bad stuff and put it in her purse. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, dang. This is only Thursday. Hey, I'll take it. Now, this one may be by far the easiest one because all you have to do is gossip. I've already made like probably at least 70 friends already. I've been grinding this game. My reputation is max. I'm clean. I'm spotless. Everyone loves me and everyone trusts me. I got the right pantalones on. There's nothing that she can do to stop this. Look, look at it. He loves me. They all love me. I've read manga. Hey, Jiichiro, did you know that Kamako really hates solitude? Really? Yeah, she loves to go to parties and just be around the biggest crowds of people. That piece of crap. I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. So we can also go to her bag as well and just like learn her dirty secrets. Can we join the newspaper club though too to spread lies? I kind of want to try that. The entire school reads our papers so anything you write will be seen by absolutely everyone. Before Facebook. Oh, I'm gonna write some bomb articles. I got a hat. You can improve your own reputation. I, hello, readers of Academy High. I would just like to say that I'm amazing and you all should love me. Oh, you could even improve the school atmosphere. Okay, that's kind of useful. All right, let's damage her reputation. Oh, what the heck? I didn't know she like, she like freaking puts them out here, starts talking to them. Little does she know I've been gossiping. <laughs> they all secretly hate her. I have a hat. I'll do it right in front of her too. Watch this. I can't get along with people like that. And she starts talking to her. <laughs> oh, okay. I think her reputation is low enough. I think we've probably done enough. So I guess all we have to do is end the, end the day. Bye-bye! Okay, I do feel a little bad. All right. Dinner's ready. Oh, no. Oh, God. All right, so Bazunga Girl, <laughs> we have to eliminate her with matchmaking. Man, this hat looks nice. Wow, look at them. They're really hitting it off. All right, I increased it by 52 points. All that manga reading, that really helped. Can't believe how fast it is when you actually have everything you need. Oh wait, what the heck? They all follow her to the cherry tree as well? I didn't know that. Well, this is about to be very awkward when he confesses. Your rival meets with her suitor under the soccer tree. She confesses that she has developed deep feelings for him. He tells her that he feels the same way. The two of them share a tender kiss as sakura blossoms fall around them. Yo, why does my game look like this? Alright guys, we're on the last freaking rival. I'm so glad to finally be done with this. So this girl has people with cameras following you around. But that's, there's no problem because I've befriended every single one of them, I think. So all we have to do is befriend her. It's really not that hard. I feel like the difficulty for the rivals are pretty unbalanced. I mean, I wouldn't really call any of them all that hard. Really, it's just about time consum you know, consuming. I wouldn't call that hard, I would just call it more of annoying that it takes longer on some of them. But is it hard? No, it's not hard. There's 10 bags to burn though? Okay, that's actually a lot different than the other girl. When we did it, there was only two bags to burn. It's fine. I'll burn 20 bags. I'll do extra. Itchy. Scratchy. Tasty. Smelly. There's gotta be a bag in here. There's 10 bags. There we go. There we go. Is there a bag in here? Yep. Behind the fridge, of course. Tasty. All right, last bag, guys. Last bag. They'll never think to burn this bag. Who didn't know it'd be so easy? Yo, flawless victory! Yes, we did it. The past eleven Woo! weeks have challenged this me took so long. in every way possible, <laughs> but despite everything. I've still managed to defeat all every my adversaries. One okay, we just gotta see how the ending changes. Then. Hey, my my cutscene actually really doesn't look happening. like butt. Sweet. Today is the day. I didn't do nothing. And I was perfect. To at least I was a spotless student. Wait, I have a better hat please. than you. Enough conjecture. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go over yeah, the. Yeah, my face cam is gone. Dude, I'm gonna be so innocent. Kaguya confessed to Senpai, but was rejected by him. She has nothing to do with Ryoba Senpai at this point in time. <laughs> Moaka was burned to death, yes. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. Hanomi Hiroshima was crushed to death. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished. 
Sumiko Tachibana was poisoned to death. I mean, the fact that I put them in the trash can shouldn't make me guilty, right? Ritsuko drowned to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. I was electrocuted. She vanished. Seiko was arrested by the police. She's currently in jail. Komako is gone. <laughs> The police suspect that she may have been murdered. Shigusa entered a relationship with someone other than Senpai. She is currently in a happy relationship with the boy. Sonoko made friends with Ryoba. She testified in court that Ryoba is a good person and would never commit a murder. Woo! After Samir's disappearance, the police were called to academia a total of one time. That was because you couldn't, you could not uh, stop it from happening. I am innocent. The police discovered a total of one corpse at school. Ryoba made 41 friends. Ryoba's reputation was 290! <laughs> yes, it was! Dude, I, I spent so much time talking to students. Ryoba's classmate witnessed her doing something suspicious one time. Okay, that was because I crawled on the floor one time. Ryoba's classmate witnessed her carrying a dangerous weapon around school zero times. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her walking around in blood-stained clothing zero times. Zero students testified that they witnessed a murder. I am Taking all of S the facts S into consideration. S it S is clear, plus. beyond any shadow of a doubt, Say it. that Ryoba Aishi is innocent of all charges. Let's go! Give me that S plus! <clears throat> what? Yo, no! S plus! Isn't there a plus? You piece of crap! No, 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 no! A murderous schoolgirl who kills in the name of love. It was a novel concept. No, come on. Newspapers Isn't realized there a plus? it would get sales. TV stations realized it would boost ratings. It didn't take long for the news of my murder trial to spread across the entire nation. I've never seen Why? an get that much coverage before. And now, everyone in the country knows my name and face. Even worse, they all know how I feel about my senpai. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. I didn't want him to learn about me like this. What? I wanted our first meeting to be special. Perfect. Exactly like in my dreams. But now, that can never happen. He'll never be able to see me as a cute underclassman no! who has a crush on him. He'll only be able to see I'm so me mad. I... as that girl Dude, this who was like freaking like four hours murder on national TV. If I confess my love to him now, I doubt he'll want anything to do with me. Even though I was declared innocent, I, I hope this is still the, the same ending. I don't know. In I'm scared. Mind, that stupid journalist ruined absolutely everything. There's nothing I want more than to rip his heart out and shove it down his throat. Do it! But spilling any blood I'll help you. I'm freaking mad. Would only attract more attention. There are too many eyes on me right now. I have to lay low for a while. Revenge isn't an option at this point in time. But I'll never forget what that this man did. This seems like the right ending that I want. I won't be able to have a romantic confession underneath a cherry tree. But this isn't over yet. I still have one option remaining. My last resort. She's gonna kidnap him, right? It's unfortunate that things turned out like this. But I was left with no other choice. I would have been crushed if he rejected me. Dang. So... Well, I had to take we, we already, the option. I mean, we already knew Our that this happened anyway. It awkward for a little while, but we'll get through it together. After all, I know all of his likes and dislikes. <laughs> I'm sure he'll warm up to me soon. I mean, he obviously came to like her. Like, what the heck? How There's does this a part of work? Me that wonders, what was the point of all the hard work exactly! I Exactly. If I was just going to kidnap him in the end. But, despite the way things turned out, I don't think the past 11 weeks were a waste at all. I learned so many new things and gained so many new skills. I'm sure I'll be able to find a way to put all of my knowledge and talents to good use. And, one day, I can pass down everything I know to my son or daughter. <laughs> Yandere giggle. There's still so much to look forward to. 
Please tell me no. Was that not the ending? Oh my god. Bruh. Exactly. I, I accidentally pressed that, but that is that is exactly how I feel right now. I'm gonna react to it. There's no way. Because I crawled on the ground one time on accident, I don't get the I have to do this all over again. Screw that. That's bull. I'm not doing that. Alright, so this cutscene comes from Ruben the Pig 80. Um I I have to see to what they did different because they it said that they got perfect. it. Okay, so it says right here, uh, Kamiko uh, withdrew from Academy. The only difference I did is I went all the way, which I thought is what you had to do. Maybe that's where I went wrong? Maybe that's how I didn't get it. Oh my god. How was I supposed to know the difference? I thought it was the same exact thing, as long as she's gone. But I guess you can't kill her. That's That has to be it. I don't care. I'm not doing it again. I'm reacting to this. It's the same amount of work. I was too good at what I did. That's my problem. Ultra. Everyone, so yeah, yeah, that's what I was supposed to get. Everyone loves you and nobody has any reason to suspect that you might be a killer. You were a true Yandere. Senpai, I'm back from the star. I made oh, sure to like buy after. all your favorite. Senpai? Senpai. Senpai! No, no, no. Oh, he got away? Senpai! Senpai! Where are you? Oh, no, no, no. Why would you leave me? I thought we were making progress. I thought you were finally starting to... Oh, wait. What? The letter? Dear Ryobaishi, we have taken your senpai out what? for some fresh air. Who? We have no intention of harming him. We will return him to you, but first... You must pass a test. Come to the row of abandoned warehouses outside of town. We will be in warehouse 80. Yo, I don't remember. I don't remember this. Bring whatever you want with you, but come alone. You have one hour. Signed, Saisho Psycho, oh. CEO and founder of Psycho Corp. So we're finally gonna see how they're connected. Okay. So then it transitions to Yan Dairy Simulator. Is that it? Wait, 1970. The first Aishi is born. Seven or 1780, I meant? 1928. Psycho. Saisho Psycho is born. Ryoba's grandmother is born. World War II begins. The United States of America invades the Japanese island, such as the, as the president of the Battle of... Okay. World War II ends. Saisho Psycho becomes very active in helping rebuild... Okay, so yeah, that's the old guy, right? Saisho Psycho decides the best way to help his countries with engineering knowledge. Saisho Psycho starts an electronics repair shop in a company named Psycho Corp. Uh, Saisho Psycho invents Japan's first tape recorder. Ryoba's grandmother finds her senpai. Ryoba's grandmother buys a house in Baraza, a small town near Tokyo. Ryoba's, mo Ryoba's mother is born. Psycho Corp releases the world's first transistor radio. Kocho Shoyuna is born. Psycho Corp releases the world's first compact videotape recorder. Then, okay, then 67, Psycho Corp releases the world's first integrated circuit radio. Psycho Corp releases the world's first color television set. A man is born who would later become an investigation Investigative journalist, Psycho Corp releases the world's first compact cassette recorder. They were releasing a lot of stuff. Uh, Ryoba's grandmother adds a basement to her house. Ryoba's, the, the, they added the basement. Oh, man, they increased the value of the home. Ryoba's mother finds her senpai, kidnaps him, and keeps him prisoner in her basement. Saisho Psycho's daughter is born. She's named Ichiko. Ryoba is born. Ryoba's sister is born. Ryoba has a sister? Aunt Yandere chan? What? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Saisho Corp releases the world's first portable cassette tape player. Saisho's son is born. He is named Ichiro. Psycho Corp releases the world's first compact disc player. Uh, let's see. Now they order the construction of a post high school academy near Baraza Town. So that's Academy in 84. The Psycho Corp renovates numerous houses in Baraza for free, including Ryoba's home. Why would they do that? Kocho is interviewed by Saisho Psycho and is appointed the headmaster of Academy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Academy opens. Uh, Ichigo enrolls in Academy. Ryoba enrolls in Academy. 
Ryoba finds her senpai, Ichigo Psycho graduates from Academy. Ryoba eliminates every girl who seeks to enter a relationship with her senpai. Psycho Corp begins manufacturing handheld electronic gaming devices. So yeah, basically what just happened, all this. So Ryoba senpai is abducted by Psycho Corp. Ryoba marries her senpai. Mystery stuff happens. So when's that gonna get filled in? Uh, Ichigo Psycho mysteriously disappears. Ryoba's sister finds her senpai. Okay, what? So what about that? Is it gonna be Yandere Simulator Ant version? Like, what is it? Psycho Corp begins manufacturing uh, video game consoles. Yeah! PS5! <laughs> no, it's a lot probably older than that. Ryoba's sister eliminates every girl who seeks to enter a relationship with her senpai. So Ryoba's got her own- Ryoba's sister got her own story. Marries her senpai. Kocho Shuya observes Ryoba's entering the office of Saisho- Saisho Psycho. Oh yeah, that's right. So we need to figure out what that deal between them was. Ichiro, Ichiro a psycho enrolls in Academy. A woman falls in love with an investigative journalist who accused Ryoba of murder. Haro Yamada is born. So someone fell in love with the journalist and he's what, just kind of gave up? Ryoba gives birth to a daughter. She is named Ayano. The investigative journalist's daughter is born. Ichiro a psycho- Oh my, and that's obviously Info-chan, duh. Yeah, Ichiro's- Ichiro a psycho's daughter is born. She is named Megami. Okay. That's interesting. Ryoba's sister gives birth to a daughter. Who's that then? Ichiro Psycho's son is born. His name Kensho. Psycho Psycho steps down to CEO of Psycho Corp and appoints his own each uh, son. An urban legend is uh, born about the mysterious hacker and information broker named Infochan. Is the journalist child Infochan? I, I thought it was. Ayano Aishi enrolls in Academy. The Psycho family announces to the world that the Psycho Psycho has passed away at age 94. Ooh. Okay, so that does kind of bring things together. Ayano Aishi finds her senpai. I, there's still some missing links that we need to figure out. And obviously Fun Girl, right? Fun Girl was definitely has some part in that. Again, shout out to Ruben the Pig 080. I mean, Bruh. in my heart, I got the ending. So <laughs> I don't mean to clickbait you, but I really sat here and freaking uh, put a bunch of time in it. But that's it, guys, uh, for now. Um, I was thinking about like trying some other interesting things. Like I want to try to kill the journalist and stuff like that. If you have anything else that I maybe have missed in, in this build, please let me know. And I would like to try new things. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I guess next is the crowdfunding campaign, and huh, we'll see how it goes. Guys, smash like if you haven't already. Subscribe, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye, guys.